Hello, my good friends, and welcome to One Credit Classics. Those of you who watch the live streams that we do will notice that last week we had a go at uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, obviously, because it's always a live stream favourite, but Weapon Roulette, where I try and... What I've got to do is, every time a chest spawns, I've got to take the weapon, pretty much. There's a couple that I'll go through on level 3 where it's impossible, basically, to get them without certain conditions. And obviously, I can't get a sword on level 4 because you can't beat home with it. But uh, we came super close and died twice, so, um, so here we are. So we're going to play the World ROM of uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, which is kind of the, in the middle one. The Japanese one's the hardest, the USA one's the easiest by a long way to be honest. Um, and this one's kind of the one that most of you probably will have played. So I'm going to try and do the whole thing on one credit. Uh, and what I'm going to do is every time a chest turns up, I will uh, open it. I'm not watching Princess Dido. So this first one will be a, um, a magician. But what that'll mean is that the next one will be the golden armor, which is this one here. Now I've got to get this one though. Now there's another chest I can spawn on this, so this isn't the end of the world. This magic actually I can say pretty decent for taking them out. Ah. Okay. So there's all kinds of strategy that comes into a clear like this. There you go, two million dollar tank. Uh, things like, for example, uh, if I jump here, it'll spawn a chest, but I don't want to spawn a chest. Because what happens then is this chest, which I have to collect, becomes a weapon. So the mandatory ones, I've got to take. The uh, the hidden ones, I can spawn them if I need them. Now it's interesting because what you'll see is we'll end up in loads of situations that we wouldn't normally end up in. Two fireballs. Mm, not the end of the world. Actually, might not be that bad, actually, because... Okay, we'll see what kind of a pattern we get with the turtles, but... Oh, yeah, it's any weapons full stop as well, so if I get one off an enemy, I've got to take it as well. So I can spawn a chest here. Lucky. What it means is the mandatory chest. Through that. course still could be a lot worse that's a shame although could be a lot worse Transform the chest like an idiot. Well, the only pro well, the only problem here, but. The problem here is that we have to come back for this. What a stitch up that is. 
Lucky. But this weapon makes this next bit ridiculously tough. We're going to have to spam the magic a lot. Come on. Can't get this one. That one. I literally can't get that without dying. Real problem here, though. I mean, this weapon's terrible for this bit. It's good for that climb bit. Leave that because it's the first one, so it's going to be a uh, magician. Question is, what's this one going to be? Nothing, because I don't. All right, we'll have that. Can't get that without dying. Or this one, because I've got a low-firing weapon. Need a good performance here. Solid. So, I can spawn... There's a chest right at the start you can spawn here just by jumping and firing towards this thing. That's the first one, so that's going to be a wizard or a magician or whatever you want to say. So, we'll leave that. That's a touch. However, it won't last too long because... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, well I won't go the top way. I won't spawn the top chest. Levels. I mean... Short-lived anyway because there's another mandatory one at the top, so... And that was going to say, that's probably going to be a sword. Alex, very lucky there. Couldn't have done anything then. I'll get that. Well, I have to get it. It's part of the challenge, isn't it? Knew as soon as I jumped, I was dead then. There's a load of time there as well. Just straight back to the start of level. So that's the wizard. Don't need that one. Fred Savage. I'll have to get this. Don't be something. Alright, I'll take that. That's not a bad weapon for you. Lucky. 
problem is that was the only way I could get through that, really. Not a problem. It's just like trying to give me the worst weapons for this. Like, one of the worst weapons to try and do this bit with. Run out of time as well, eh? Really hemmed in here. To make that. Come on. What a piss take. Here's a question. Does the time limit start? Last 10. Let's find out. Is it going to start the music? Okay. Go. Dreadful. Still. there. This will be a magician. Be a better weapon. That is a better weapon, in all fairness. Suit of armor, right? Huh? 
I can't get that. No, I can't get that. That's fallen from the, uh, that's fallen from one of the, not the chests, one of the, uh, thingies. Yeah, I can't reach that. This is going to be tough. Well, good, but... <laughs> Bit of both. The old Aegis Reflector. Come on, don't do me bad here. This is problems. I might go up here and try and get it. The problem is, there's a few more mandatory chests I've got to try and get here. There's a very good chance I'm going to end up with something garbage. I know, right? This mug's so old. I love the fact we've got merch, though. I love the fact that somewhere in the corner of it, whatever corner of the planet we're on, there's people explaining to each other that, that they've got a uh, a mug supporting a guy who lives in Stoke who does a YouTube channel. And all he does is play old videos and make jokes about stuff that was relevant 25 years ago. To a degree, anyway. Not totally relevant. Right. Let's, uh, let's open the magic box, shall we? I shall try, my princess. Now, I don't look. I'm not out here moaning. I am a lot, but I've never seen that happen before. I mean, that changed everything. I might get a suit of armor here. Not sure though. That was sword. Brilliant. Might be a, might be a suit of armor here though. What's that? There's an extra life? I nearly left that.
Chasing birds out of the trees with a friggin' sword. That's what my days come to. Go. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna try and do, is I'm gonna try and trigger the first um, chest, which is there. I'm gonna leave that. I'm not gonna go back to it because the first one on the new section is always a wizard. But what that means is the second chest is gonna be the gold armor. Shot. That's a shot as well, guys. Okay. Forgot about that. So the golden um, psycho cannon uh, goes further, goes faster, but more importantly, it's the only weapon that's got a differential when you've got the golden armor because it hasn't got any magic. And it uh, takes projectiles out. Problem is, I'm going to have to give it up soon. Because I'm going to have to get that. And then the next one's going to be a weapon. Gonna have to get this, whatever it is. Okay, that's the best possible scenario, to be honest. So, got him the straight across pattern, which is decent. Okay. Thanks. I don't get how that wasn't a thingy, but go on. Tried to time it right and fucked it. Hmm. Interesting. That'll be it. Magician, right? Not a problem. I can engineer it. If I can... Oh, no. Fuck off with that. Problem now. Okay, it's not necessarily a problem. How long about left here? No, we're gonna have to go. Yeah, we'll take that. That's not too bad a setup for this bit, to be honest. The 
the best weapon for this little bit. Kind of mini bit. Oh, really wants me to have that, doesn't it? Can't get that. Come on. It's unlucky. Can't get that. To be fair, it would have been a thingy anyway because we're in our underwear. Would have been a wizard anyway. This is the problem. I've got the worst version of this weapon on the difficult bit but the other thing is I'm not gonna have the chance to get too many other weapons that'll be a wizard overthinking it all the time right that's a wizard 100% first chest always is Now, can't get that. I can't get this next one. However, I get all the rest. Also, as well, if we can get to 130, we'll get an extra life, so... I'm... Ugh. Jesus. Um... Overthinking this here. Very short space of time I'm gonna have this weapon for. Unless I can get a weapon from here. Because then I can wait. No, that's just a risk. Just, just go. Overthinking it. You're gonna lose it on the next bit anyway. Lord. Gonna have to get this, whatever it is. Okay, that's not too bad. Get that. Gonna go underneath that. Right? all on the strength of Psycho Cannon, but the problem now is the fact that I'm going to have to ditch it. Whoa, shit. This is a problem. I mean, being a duck's always a problem. Okay. I'll have to get that. Shit, I can't go back up there anyway. You can't make that backwards jump. The problem... Okay, it's not that much of a problem. I mean, that's a problem. I, can't, I don't think I can do this now. Just because I don't think... Oh, I can just... Jeez, I can't see me doing this.
but it is a bit more powerful. Gotta keep moving. Can I get that? Let's find out. Yes, I can. Okay. It's just getting the middle one's going to be silly. Oh, that's so unlucky. to get this. Mm. Problem is now is all these lot are going to get a chance to buy it. That's what got me last time. Okay, I've got a bit more of a chance here. Sure, I can. The problem is, your bullets get hung up on them, so it's harder to. Nice. This is dangerous. Come on. Come on, this is the shot. Fucking oh, thing blocking me. Come on. Jesus. Right, let's go. So now the challenge kind of sort of... Not ends, so to speak, but... The specifics of having to try and get another weapon end. Wrecked. Oh, shit. This. Okay, but I don't have to. Oh, we're okay, okay. Yeah, I don't have to collect any more chests now because I've got the psycho cannon on the last level, so. See what happens here. This might be a suit of armor. I mean, it might not. Rex. This might be a suit of armor. I'd love this. I would love it for this to be a suit of armor. It's not. It's a shit weapon. Don't forget it, though, which is a bonus. Bloody hell. Rocked. There'll be a suit of armor up here, though. Nice. This will be a suit of armor. This will be a magician. <laughs> what a joke that was.
Yeah, fuck that. Um, how many? That's my last life. Jeez. I mean, that was just getting stitched up on that treasure chest, to be honest. Couldn't run back then, which is uh, the problem. And that, my good friends. That's one take Jake as well. That's my first go. Oh, Jesus. And that, my friends, is Ghouls and Ghosts, the world version. One credit clear, weapon roulette. Oh, God almighty. Tense. I told you, Prim Prim. I mean, it's never predictable, you know? Because I messed it up a load of times doing it live the other day, but... I don't know. <laughs> I'll never watch these titles and not smile, you know? Because every clear's got something like that. That was like... I was seconds away from dying there. A few times, you know? And the thing with these clears is, right... They've nearly always got something, you know, a bit of luck, a bit of clutch, you know what I mean? A bit of a point where we probably deserve to die, a bit of a, a, a point where we didn't deserve to die, you know? These clears have just always got everything. I'll never stop playing this as long as my hands work, you know? As long as my hands work and my eyes work, I'll always keep playing this. It's just phenomenal. I never want it to end. So I was away the other week. Uh, I was out in Singapore, and uh, my good friend, Mr. Mark Goddard, uh, who's what, who's, well, he's the best referee in the world, isn't he? Um, but I was having breakfast with him, this is a couple of others, and I was explaining to him about the channel and, and all you good people and, and everything, and like, because obviously he's like um, uh, interested in YouTube a little bit, like a lot of people are, but I was telling him about the channel and all the rest of it. And uh, I showed him like Patreon, I showed him all the videos and all the playlists and all the stuff we do, the streams and everything. And he was like, wow, he goes, this is really like a, a passion for you, isn't it? Like video games. And I was like, yeah, of course it is. I said, you know, like you got like tattoos and, and all the rest of it. Like it's a massive part of who I am, you know? And then he said, what would you do if you could only do one? I said, what do you mean? He said, what would you do if you could only judge fights or play video games, what would you do? And I was like, wow, no one's ever asked me that. And uh, he just looked at me and I stopped for like five seconds and I went like, I don't know, probably play video games. <laughs> and that's not to say I don't put everything I can put into judging fights, you know. I've put like the last 12 years of my life into it, but there'll, there'll come a point where I can't judge fights anymore, you know. There's a natural order to anything. I'm 12 years deep in it already, you know. Who knows how many more I've gotten. 2,253 fights if you're counting, because I am... Um, kind of fights judges into this and everyone's still amazing and everyone's still dead exciting but before all that there was video games you know and there'll come a point where it's not um i would say it's not what i want to do because i'll never stop wanting to do it but i let a point in my life where i don't want to be traveling around all the time you know i'll get a bit older and my good lady wife will have uh, we'll have settled down a little bit more you know we'll have got this house move <laughs> sorted and, and we'll we'll kind of i don't know get older you know and video games will be there for me afterwards or in whatever form, you know? Whether I'm just 
playing them or whether I'm watching people's streams or whether I'm like uh, reading about them or whatever. Like video games will always be here for me, like they've always been here for me, you know. And that's the thing I think with a lot of these videos, like um, the number of messages I get from people. And I don't put two and two together, you know, like a lot of the time. I love this game because it's a good game and I love playing it because I'm good at it. Like, uh, but the number of people who message me, oh, I've been having a really tough time or I'm really struggling at the moment with work or family or, or, or whatever, relationships, and then um, I can just forget. God bless you. <laughs> I can forget um, all of that for half an hour or an hour or something like that. And I'm so happy that this is the thing that does it for you now because it's 100% the thing that does it for me. But yeah, I love playing video games, making videos, and uh, ghouls and ghosts. What more is there to say, really? I'm really happy we got that clear. Nice. Right then, my friends, I'm going to go. What comes next? Well, check Twitter. Number one credit classics on Twitter. Um, if you want to get involved on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash one credit classics for as little as three, uh, $2. It's $2, isn't it? It's like £1.50 a month. You get loads of free stuff, bonus merch. You get to pick the games we stream on the Monday streams. Um, you also get all your stuff early. Okay, so have a look at that if that's something you want to do. If not, you just want to chip me some cash, that's fine as well. I really appreciate it. As I've said, for the past two years, I'm in the middle of moving house at the moment, so it's um, it's all much appreciated. PayPal.me, link down there. Uh, paypal.me forward slash one credit classics um and uh if you're based in the uk and you want to get yourself some uh, protein snacks or energy drinks or any of that good stuff get on the muscle moose website and use the code occ25 so muscle moose.co.uk uh, muscle moose.co.uk excuse me and the code is occ all in capitals 25 that gives you 25 percent off offers aren't included but everything else is and that stuff's really good they're a nice bunch of people um i'd recommend flapjacks decent um but that's that um we stream Monday nights, the games you pick on Patreon, and we stream Thursday nights, random stuff like this. Um, just tell people about us, you know? It's just it's just fun. And when we do the streams, it's all kinds of fun. But this is a, this was a great adventure. This was Girls and Ghosts Weapon Roulette. I'm, uh, I'm Ben Cartlidge from One Credit Classics, and uh, I'm glad that you've uh, watched this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me some comments, like, subscribe, all the other good stuff, and uh, I'll see you soon for another episode of One Credit Classics. Take care, my friends.